my goodness. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us for take two of today's webinar. If you guys are watching the recorded, I want to let you guys know we are so excited to have you here. And if you're watching live with us, thank you so much. We are so excited to have you guys here for this amazing training. We hope the audio um, issue has been Fixed. You guys have put into your extra effort um, to show up today, which means we have got to go above and beyond in serving you guys with amazing value and give you guys some amazing bonuses. So if you guys are just tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. We are so excited to have you guys here. Not only are we announcing yesterday's giveaway winner, we have a coach handbag up for grabs for today's giveaway. So give us some comments all throughout the live stream for extra entries. And these extra entries will not only go for the daily giveaway, but the grand prize winner will be taking home a Cricut Maker um, announced after the webinar on Saturday. So that is a lot 11 a.m. Eastern. That is at 11 a.m. Eastern um, after the webinar, we will announce the winner of the Cricut Maker. So be sure to tune into that. Um, if you've been watching all the webinars, please know that it is a lot of fun and it is the same content, um, but we will make sure to make it really special and worth your time. So we're really excited to see you guys tuning in as you guys are. Share with us where you're visiting from um, and we're really excited to give away all of these amazing prizes as well as give you guys some amazing training. So yes, today's training is focused all around five secrets to making money um, even if you haven't sold before. Um, so we are going go through all five of the secrets. These are really great points to, for you guys to use and kind of use to pivot along the industry to get what you may need, okay? So this is a great starting point. This is going to help motivate you guys. And what we're asking is that we're going to go through this webinar for an hour. And then at the end, we will have um, a special offer for you guys. If you have not heard already, the cat is out of the bag. We just launched on um, Sunday night our Design Make Sell program. And there is less than, I believe, like 30 to 60 tickets left. I haven't got a confirmed number from the team. Um, like 30 to 60 tickets left at pre-sale prices. So the price will go up a hundred dollars if you do not act fast. Um, we had almost 500 here for the training today before we lost the stream. I do not know how fast these tickets are going to sell, but if you are on the fence about Design Make Sell, I would go ahead and grab the link get the tier you want and go for it. But we are going to go through this free training because I know there is a lot of you guys that are on the fence about, do I really need to invest in myself in 2020 to sell what I make? Do I need a program to teach me how to design SVGs? So that is what I'm here to do today. That is my promise to you is that I'll give you a page or two full of notes. And then at the end, we will ask you if you want to go further. There is no way we can teach you everything about designing and selling um, in an hour. So you know that is not possible, um, but I think this hour is gonna be a really great well-spent hour. So even if you're not interested in buying Design Make Sell, I think you're gonna get some great tips and tricks out of here. And you guys know we love to give you free value. So yay, I'm super excited. Rachel is here. She's gonna be um, servicing you guys um, in the comments. And um, the winner for the mystery supply kit was Tracy Meeks. So be sure, Tracy, to reach out to hi at makersgonnalearn.com with the best shipping address for us. Rachel, how many friends do we have hanging out with us? We have 315 friends Hello, with us. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to have you guys here for today's training. And we are ready to jump right into it. So let's jump in and get excited for today's training. All right, welcome everyone to the five secrets to making money even if you haven't sold before webinar. We are so excited to give you guys this uh, master class to teach you guys exactly how to, you know, break down making money crafting even if you haven't sold before. What you're going to learn in today's webinar is exactly how to design your very own SVG cut balls to make custom projects like never before. The number one reason you're likely not successful selling your crafts and get frustrated spending so much on supplies, okay? You're also going to learn where 
and how to get the support and tools it's going to take to make it all possible, okay? So we're super excited for that. This is a must attend. I know you guys may be saying, Tanner, am I at the right place? Um, do I need to stay here for this webinar? And here are the people that we wanna make sure um, know this is here for them. Are you currently stuck and ready to take this time to master new skills and build a home-based business that will not only support your hobby, but also support your family? Okay, how many of us want to use this time, um, you know, that we have in quarantine or anything like that to be able to build a home-based business that they're going to love, okay? Are you currently spending a lot on craft supplies and know you need to make money to help justify the cost? How many of us right now want to be able to have some money coming in to help all the money going out with your craft supplies? I know I do, um, and it's going to be awesome. So you want to help people who aren't as crafty by making projects for them while making a profit for yourself. How many of us love to serve people um, and want to have their, you know, business serve people that may not be able to make that custom shirt for their kids first day of first grade or second grade um, and you know there are people that need those people out there um, and everyone that I know wants to support small business um, and it's a just the best time to be able to um, you know make money from home uh, especially with the quarantine so if you've been trying to understand how to design your own um, SVGs but get frustrated and confused and end up quitting. If you guys are confused about that and do not understand the process, stick with us. We're going to give you guys some really, really great fundamental um, layers and building blocks to be able to do both. So if you guys are excited, be sure to um, just go ahead and throw us up a comment. Go ahead and comment ready. If you guys are ready for us to jump into this training, we're going to be getting started really soon. So go ahead and drop the comment, um, the word ready. Um, if you guys are really excited, we want to see a lot of people here. The more engagement we get, the more that I'm just going to keep educating you guys. So if you're brand new here, we have a lot of first timers here. Um, I'm Tanner Bell, the founder of Maker want to learn with over one decade of die cutting experience. Um, I'm the founder of Makers Gonna Learn, a die cutting education platform with over 5,000 active students. And what we are super excited about is we are super passionate to see people thrive using their Cricut to make money and design custom projects. If that is you, we are here to serve. Are you guys ready to learn? I see a lot of readies popping up in the comments, so we're so excited to have all of you here. What we're going to ask, again, we're asking this so that we can serve you guys better. We're asking that you please silence your phone and log off of Facebook. I'm calling out anyone that are the multitaskers. We're here serving. You don't see me on Facebook while I'm teaching. I don't want to be, if I was looking in at you guys, um, scrolling around, we want to use this time and take some really great notes. So please save your questions for the end of the broadcast. We will have time for them. And last but not least, go ahead and grab your notebook and get ready to take some awesome notes. We did this earlier um, on Sunday and we had a lot of great results from people that enjoyed this training and got some really great notes. So we want to hear the same thing out of this one. That is why we're doing it a few times throughout the week. So woohoo, I love it, I love it. Now. The biggest question is what keeps you from making money with your machine? That is the question that we want to kind of take the look at over this next little bit and dive into what is really keeping you from making money with your machine, right? What we want to jump into first is talking about designing your own custom projects. On occasion, it gets very frustrating trying to be able to afford all the SVGs out there. And quite frankly, a lot of us are going to feel left out and be frustrated not finding the proper projects. So to design your own SVGs, you do not have to be an artist or quite frankly, even good at drawing to design amazing cut files. 
the same person that drew this train was able to design this train cut file. And what we love is that you can assign it the different colors and do everything um, very easily. So they look totally different um, and it's just mind blowing at what you can do with some amazing different skills. So we're really excited that you guys do not have to be a graphic designer. You don't have to be, um, you know, an amazing drawer or hand letterer to design the cut files that you may need to service your customers, to serve your family, or quite frankly, just for all of your own personal projects. Um, we see a time and time again that the people that need to design their own SVGs the most are the people that are serving customers, clientele, and different things like that. So if you're taking notes, go ahead and you know remind yourself, I do not have to be an artist to make amazing designs. We are really excited for you guys to dive into that. And this leads us right in to secret number two. Are you guys ready for number two? Number two is probably one of my favorites. So if you guys are excited for secret number two, go ahead and throw up number two. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into number two here in a moment. Um, number two was probably one of the biggest takeaways um, from the earlier training session. So um, it was really great. And yes, this is the same from Sunday. Great question. So yes, let's go ahead and jump over to secret number two. This right here is the biggest one. I want you guys to write this down right away. Designing cut files does not have to cost a fortune, okay? These three inexpensive platforms will allow you to do everything you want. Now there's three different ones here and this is some of the best takeaways for you guys that are here because there are not many places that are just going to hand you over for free the different platforms and things to be able to use. We're going to kind of break down each one of these. So I would be taking some notes um, on each one and which ones we recommend for what. So first things first, let's take a look at Procreate. Now Procreate is a one-time cost of $9.99, okay? One time, $9.99. And this is an iOS only, okay? This is an iOS only training or program, Procreate. What we love about this is that you can use your Apple Pencil, you can use your iPad, you can use anything like that to design in Procreate um, with your iPad and your phone and things like that. Um, but if you're taking notes, write down that it is only available for iOS, okay? So let us know if you have any Procreate questions. We love Procreate. Um, if you're a hand lettering artist, if you want to be able to do different things like that, go ahead and definitely be um, downloading Procreate and start watching videos on Procreate. Now, next up, let's take a look at Illustrator. Now, Illustrator and Adobe Creative Cloud has since switched their program from being $600 to $1,200 up front to a membership platform. So you can have Illustrator for as low as $19.99 a month, okay? It is an amazing value because this is the top. What you guys, you know, I saw some comments via, um, via the last training saying, oh my goodness, $20 a month is a you know big commitment. Yes, but what I think a lot may not understand, that is if you master Illustrator, there is no more professional platform to level up to. And what is amazing for Illustrator is that you'll be able to use this on your Mac or your PC, okay? So the Illustrator you know, is the top in the industry um, across all industries, okay? That is what we love. Um, now, obviously, this is a program that Adobe probably puts millions of dollars in developing. So you are not going to run into many things at all um, with this. So you are going to have a very smooth experience when you pay for that, okay? 
So next, you can take a look at Inkscape. Now guys, Inkscape is awesome. Um, we always see people say, oh, Inkscape, you know, is a little frustrating. It's a little challenging. I totally understand. Um, but what we love about this is it's completely, completely free, okay? You are more than welcome to go ahead, download Inkscape today, um, and get started with Inkscape. It is really awesome, um, and it's perfect. Yes, we've had some people say I have the uh, Adobe Creative Cloud package and see if you can get the student package exactly. Now with Illustrator, you can do the awesome, awesome trial so that is available so you don't have to make a commitment you can play around with it and um you know with our amazing new program we're discussing all three of these platforms but if you are someone that is looking to get started this right here you're going to absolutely love it um and yes it's really really awesome so next up we are about to jump into secret number three Guys, if you guys are really excited for secret number three, I know you all are taking all the notes, but we'll take a brief second and let's go ahead and throw up the number three. So we've went over two misconceptions and two secrets related to designing, but now it is time to switch gears and kind of touch on the business side of your of the class um, just because we wanted to really lay down the foundation for your designing um, it does not have to be expensive it does not have to you do not have to be an artist um, but to be able to do both um, you know you're going to want to master designing and selling so lots of people are tuning in putting those notebooks down and topping in the number three so we are going to move on I know you guys have families and you're super excited for the training but have a lot to do so we're trying to be mindful of your time so secret number three I think this was a lot of people's favorite um, secret that for them that were taking notes and getting excited for um, you know selling so secret number three talks about the money is in the niches now if you have never heard niche niche um, niches this is something that you want to determine for yourself and if anything you need to determine um, in your business is what's your specialty and here's why you cannot do everything awesome um, you cannot do everything cost effective and your customers need you as an expert for what you do best Okay, I'm gonna repeat that one. Your customers need you as an expert for what you do best, okay? There are many of us that want to do all things and want to become the Walmart of crafting. But quite frankly, you do not have the infrastructure. We are all independent um, business owners and we do not have a team, let alone the funds, to be able to do everything perfect, okay? And when you pick a specialty, you're going to find that you're going to save a ton on cost because you'll be able to buy more of the fewer things you need and get not only for a better rate, but what we love to talk about is to remind you guys, your time is valuable. The money is in the niches due to the fact that you're going to be able to grow your business and become an expert at what you're best at. You need to focus in on what you are best at, what your heart, you know, what you love the most, um, because that is gonna be the easiest one for you to work on. If you love making t-shirts and someone asks you to build them a frame and do a custom vinyl, you know, on that, you are going to, in your head, mainly, you know, maybe procrastinate on that project. I do not know how many times I have seen business owners say yes to a project and then, and then this is where it goes wrong, they procrastinate on it and forget about the project. Please, 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 for, you know, you and me both, 
do not take on projects you are not serious about and not meeting deadlines. Um, but when you have a niche that you love, that you are passionate about, you are going to easily be able to thrive and you're going to not only save a lot of cost financially, you are going to save time. So how many of us need to focus in on our niche? Let's just go ahead and drop the comment niche if you guys are going to be spending some time focusing in on that. If you already know your niche, let us know in a comment. Um, you know, we are super excited for you guys because these, um, you know, groundwork elements are exactly what we are excited about with this training. We know for a fact that if you guys are plugged into this, if you are, you know, focusing in on this, you're going to be able to see results um, as soon as you put laser focus on what your specialty is and what your niches are. So yes, we love it. Carla says, I stopped doing shirts because I didn't enjoy it. Yes, I love it. My husband is talking about me so bad that I can't find my niche because I'm serious about everything. And listen, we love that you're serious about everything, but you will find it will save you time and money once you build out a solid customer base that comes to you for one thing that hopefully is profitable and you're passionate about it because that's what we're trying to do here guys we are wanting you to not only live out your passion but to build an income of this so we are so excited okay so that is secret number three i hope you guys have taken a lot a lot of notes for this because i believe if anything once you have your niche almost anything else can fall into place that is why we had to touch on this um, the most, okay? So if you guys are ready, we are going to move over to secret number four. Uh, Gather and Create says, this has really spoken to me. Yes, I'm so excited. Deborah says, what if you love more than one thing? Deborah, start with one and reevaluate as you grow. Research how other businesses have been able to grow. You will find that, let's take Apple for an example. Their first product was the um, Mac and then they you know went and said we want to change music and they started with the iPod um, you did not see Apple come out with the Mac with the iPod and the iPhone all at one time guys I didn't even have to ask you to throw up the number four and you all are already throwing up these fours because you all are on the edge of your seat ready to jump into number four so let's go ahead and jump in to number four right here. This is something that I have received many emails about um, through my time of coaching hard members at Makers Gonna Learn that have, um, you know, been on the fence about uh, building a business with their die cutting machine. There's too many sellers on Etsy. False. What this does right here, and I want to let you guys know, this is a lot of built up self-doubt, okay? Traditionally, I will find people give themselves so many false statements about reasons why they're not going to succeed without even stepping out and giving it a shot. You guys, first of all, have got to believe in yourself, um, and we're going to touch on this here in a little bit, but the facts, I love to present the facts um, because everything else kind of follows after the facts. Um, the facts are there's over 40 million buyers on Etsy right now. Okay, now why I love to touch on Etsy more than your own personal website, um, more than just Facebook Marketplace, is because Etsy does an amazing job connecting you with consumers nationwide. All across, you know, America, anyone like that, um, you're gonna be able to service them just like you would someone in your local area, okay? There is no other place to do that. Um, out of the 40 million buyers on Etsy right now, there's only 2 million sellers. And that's how many, um, you know, out of the 2 million sellers, that's how many sellers there are total. That is not even how many active sellers there are, okay? Um, and what we love is that you can still show up on Etsy and build an amazing customer base you can still show up on Etsy and build an amazing customer base. 
I love it. Um, you guys are going to really, I think, you know, for the cost that to list and the fees for Etsy, their infrastructure is so huge that if you're not using this to start your business, as you know, you may not have a customer base, work with them to build a shop, pick your niche, launch a, stop, a shop, and then you're gonna be able to start building those um, customers and hopefully they come back. So yes, there are so many amazing, amazing things um, about Etsy and we've seen so much success from people on Etsy as well. So yes, I love that, I love that. Um, but yes, if you are struggling to find customers, um, definitely turn to Etsy because they will help you, um, you know, build a customer base when you may not have that. So yay, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, but yes, okay, are you guys ready for secret number five? Linda's already saying five. Yes, Linda, we're gonna get ready and jump into secret number five. Who is ready? I love it. Brittany says for Etsy, should you stick with just one or like one or two? So Brittany, um, for Etsy, we recommend one niche, not just one product, but if you are um, go focus in on you know wooden frames, I would have probably 15 or more different sizes and different ways um, for you all to you know market your frames. You just don't want to also be someone selling frames, selling jewelry, selling earrings, selling shirts, everything like that. You want to have a whole line of what you may. Uh, be focusing it on. Okay, I see lots of people right here um, and getting excited. Andrea says, my big issue is I'm not business enough for this. It passed before I was able to finish. Um, well, unfortunately, stick with us and we are wanting to help. So stay with us for a special offer, but we still got more training to go. So stick with us. Number five, your income can come from a hobby you enjoy. Does that resonate with anyone? please write this down grab those notebooks put this even above the niches because if you do not understand that you can truly build an income from a hobby you enjoy um you know that will really tarnish you um so millions of people love handmade autumns but don't feel confident making them millions of people love handmade autumns but don't feel confident making them just because it may be easier um, for us to make them um, does not mean that everyone is gonna have that same confidence. Um, we have taken the plunge and dived in, or dove into um, making our own projects with our machine, and we've invested in supplies. And with that, you have to be able to charge your value. Um, and you have to know that you can have an income from a hobby you enjoy. Just because you love making does not mean you have to do it for free. Write this one down, y'all. Write it down. Just because you love what you do does not mean you have to do it for free, okay? Um, you have to be able to realize you cannot be doing this for free. Your time is valuable. Your material is valuable. Um, and without you know, you understanding that, no one else is gonna understand it. And that brings us right into our last tip for this one. People will start valuing you once you value yourself. Am I right? How many people are like, yes, like you all a lot are a lot older than myself. And, you know, I just feel like I re-understand this more as I get older. Um, you know, once you start valuing yourself, um, other people will, a lot quick, <laughs> a lot faster understand um, and easily value you as well. And in business, this is a huge thing. You know, you have to be ready to stand firm on your prices um, and, you know, realize that if you cannot get a certain amount, that it is just not worth it for you, okay? Um, just because we want to stay busy um, and we do not want to be pricing ourselves out of fear. How many of us have been able to, you know, been too scared to throw out that first number? So you're like, oh, let me make you that shirt and you just, you just want to, you know, just pay me what you think it's worth. 
No, that is pricing from fear. Um, and you need to be able to set your price, set what price you want, and then you will be able to get started um, and make money from a hobby you enjoy. So yes, I love it. I love it. Yes, your program will work with Android devices. Great question. I have a really hard time charging friends. Think I need to sell on Etsy, less personal. Debbie, I think it's the perfect, perfect little mix for us to have side businesses um, and separate it from our family. Um, as much as we love to serve our family and friends, um, it can get messy. Um, so you do want to, you know, kind of have that separation. So yes, I love it. I love it. Alicia says, how do you figure out how to price your items? Stick with us, friend. Uh, Judy says pricing is the hardest thing. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, well guys, let's look over what we have been able to discuss with our Tom here. And we have um, spent quite a bit, you know, getting notes. Like, let's take a look at, you know, our papers. Um, I hope you guys have been taking notes and not been, you know, trying to multitask too bad. Um, but what we've been able to recap is you can design your own files without breaking the bank. You don't have to be an expert artist either. Build your business with a niche in mind. There's not too many people selling online for you to join. I saw some comments. What about Instagram? What about Facebook? Um, all these other places. Yes, please, if you have the time, I say use those platforms because just like you don't want to have one stream of income, you don't want to rely on one platform to bring you customers, okay? Jennifer says, but I don't want to feel like I'm overpricing my stuff if she's willing to pay me. Jennifer, you have to determine what price it's worth it for you to do that work and that's the price is the price. Um, and lastly, you can make money with your hobby. Now guys, you are here. You all have been such an amazing audience. I want to know, do you all want a bonus? Let me know in the comments right now, bonus, if you guys are ready for a little, for a little bonus. I mean, Rachel, how many friends do we have here? We have 475 friends. 475 friends here on a Wednesday at one 230. How amazing. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, do you all want a bonus? Go ahead and throw up the um, bonus if you all would like to see um, that. So we're so excited. Yes. Elizabeth says bonus. Ashley says, I'm excited to try out the SVG making. Right now, I buy mostly commercial license on cute designs. Yes, you will be able to design your own. Ah, uh, yes, bonus. April says, Danielle says, bonus. Woohoo, Julie says, bonus. Well, let's dive in to bonus tip. This is the biggest thing that I can tell you guys are um, anxious about, worried about. And this right here is something so important, okay? We want you guys to believe in your pricing. Do not compare yourself to others when it comes to pricing. Your pricing needs to be determined on your own, and it is not all about undercutting your competitors, okay? What we mean by this is yes, you can look at your competitors to see what they're charging, but you have to determine your own price. Um, and if your price is $5 more, $6 more, $7 more, $10 more, that is for you to determine. I will let you know, people are not looking as much into this as you will be. You can set up your products um, to be more valuable from better quality material to a better hand craft. This is one of the biggest reasons why we believe once you set a niche, you will not only be able to add luxury pricing to it because you are such an expert in that field, you're going to be able to 
find better quality products. Um, and even if your pricing is a little bit more, guess what? People are going to want to pay. So yes, we want you guys to be firm sellers and stand behind your pricing. Yes, Catherine, we want you to believe in that. Exactly, exactly. We're so excited. Um, but yes, guys, yet again, do not compare yourself to others when it comes to pricing. Your pricing needs to be determined on your own, and it is not about undercutting your competitors. Um, I, Sunday, I shared that uh, when my grandfather and Papa or Papa was running different cell, uh, shell stations in our town, he would drive around in his way to work. And if another gas station was, you know, undercutting his prices, he would go and undercut his price just to have the cheapest. It is not that way for today and in this market. You have to stand firm with your prices. Yes, people will pay. I've been willing to pay top dollar for good quality items. Yes, exactly. And again, you can go to Walmart and get a $10, $20 handbag, or you can go to Louis Vuitton and drop almost a mortgage payment. Um, so you definitely can build up that quality. So yes, that's something I struggle with is comparing my prices to other uh, um, others. Addison, I totally understand. I am right there with you, my friend. Um, so yes, so yes, yes, yes. We're so excited. But yes, that is your bonus tip for being so 